In today's experiment, we're going to watch how phosphorus reacts with pure oxygen. Now, phosphorus um, exists in several different allotropic forms. There's uh, polymer polymeric forms, and there are more sort of uh, reactive forms, which is the P4. And I have a little bit of it in this tube, and you can see it in here. It doesn't look exactly white, but it is supposed to be white when it's pure. It's possible to make small quantities of the white allotrope by taking the amorphous allotrope and just heating it under an argon atmosphere at atmospheric pressure in a regular test tube. You don't want to heat it too much, but just enough to watch it to start condensing as the white form. And you can see that just about happening here. And when that process is done, all the red form will be gone. And then you end up pretty, you're ending up pretty much with a liquid form, as you can see here, which is basically liquid white um, allotrope. When this cools down, it will solidify. It will spontaneously ignite in air. And what I want to show you today is what it does in pure oxygen. So what I'm about to do is fill this jar. This is just basically a, a jar that I cleaned up. I'm going to fill this jar with pure oxygen. And then I'm going to put that little piece of phosphorus on this spoon. Technically, this would be, in chemical terms, a defligating spoon, but we just have like a regular spoon that's been bent, so we can use it in that manner. And we're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna leave this lid a little bit loose, so if any pressure builds up in this bottle, it's not gonna explode or anything like that. For our oxygen source, we're gonna use this welding setup. And I have some oxygen in this tank here. Let's make sure we have the flow of oxygen. And we do. Make sure we have the right valve. So we're gonna fill the bottle up now with oxygen by placing it underneath this food wrap and then just basically blowing it in here. What we're gonna do now is pour off the uh, water from this phosphorus into this beaker and place a piece of phosphorus on that spoon. I need to take this outside quickly as it's going to ignite spontaneously. Now let's try the same thing with the amorphous allotrope. Here it is. In order to get this to start burning, we're gonna to have to heat it up using a magnifying glass. the smoke clearing up. That's the phosphorus pentoxide reacting with the water to form phosphoric acid. There we go. Now it's mostly clear. You 
Thanks for checking in on this experiment to evaluate the difference in reaction between the red or amorphous and the white allotropes of phosphorus with oxygen and air.